Morning, morning, girls. How's it going? You all look fantastic as always. What's up? I heard someone like making a lot of ruckus, so I assume that means someone was laying an egg. Egg, 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 egg. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Wow. Really? Okay. Yes, about the dust warning last night. Okay, a little dust, but the rain was nice. Got a little rain. That was super cool. Well, not super cool. Don't get me wrong. We're still blistering hot. I meant cool as in nice to kind of lay the dust down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I'm going to go check on the chicks over here, too. Well, they're not chicks anymore. You know what I'm saying. Really? See all of you under there trying to stay cool in that little, little shaded area right there? Uh-huh. All right, I'll see you girls later. Hey, over here, what's happening? Yes, ah. Maybelline, get off that. You're the one roosting up there, Maybelline. I'm very disappointed. Mm. Anyway, how's it going? You guys look great. No, I gotta give the garden update part two, sure. Yeah, I'll be in later. Okay. All right. Wow, that cockerel is starting to sound more and more like a real rooster. Okay, so I see that my line here for my bell pepper plant has been moved. So let's put the line back on the pepper plant there. I don't know how that got moved. Probably the birds walking on. It's like a, in the afternoon when I do my last watering for the day, just to get a little watering before the evening. Uh, the birds come in here and it's like crazy seeing them fly up when you come out. Okay, let's go in and take a look at the second half of the garden. Okay, we talked about this yesterday. I didn't point out though the garlic right in here. Ooh, it's hard to see. Oh, it's so bright. The garlic right in here is ready to harvest. So we'll be doing that very soon. Yay! Okay, moving on. Talked about the corn yesterday. Uh, yeah, see this? I really didn't see it. It's just, it's just like completely gone. There's like, you know, this one's kind of starting to try to grow here a little bit, but most of these are just completely dried and over with. Okay, anyway, back along here. Let's see what's going on. I just turned the water on so I can kind of see how the water flow is going as well. Got quite a bit of water in this area. This one is trying to make some of it a comeback. So, fingers crossed on that. And over here, I haven't, oh, let me get my shadow out of the way. I haven't seen any squash come in yet on the pan squash, but oh, just as I said that, I see one. Right there, let me see if I can get you in there good. See that one in there? Yeah, that is a nice one. So, oh. Uh, it's hard to see. That's a nice one coming in there, right there. Wow, cool. So I'm gonna have a pan squash soon. The other one I don't see any on that one, but it's doing much better now that it's getting water. This one is trying to make a little bit of a comeback too, so we'll see. You know, we will see. I harvested a zook out of here the other day. The zucchini is doing really well. Let's step this way. Oh, snap! There's one in there right now. Look, right there. Let's get in there and get that. Let's go look at that first. Yeah, that is a nice zook. Let's get that because it's kind of in the water too. So let's twist that one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's take a look at the tomatoes. We have not had success with tomatoes this year. As you can see, it's all gone awry. I think I got water in too late, so I'm just going to pull all of these out, the ones that are dead here, and we're gonna try to start over. I'm debating on this one. I think what I might do on this one is cut it back and see if we get rid of uh, some of this lankiness, if that would help. That's what I'm thinking about for that one as well as the other one over there, but they're not producing any fruit at all. So uh, that's a weed there, gotta pull that out. This one here, 
yeah none of these are doing well so like I said I may have gotten the water in here too late so we'll see um, there's one over there it looks like it has a tomato on it but it looks like it's definitely been bothered by pests or something can't quite get it into focus in there but um, yeah so there it is right there yeah I didn't want to have to climb in there if I didn't have to so that's what's going on with tomatoes but like I said long growing season We'll pull out the ones that are dying or dead. The Cherokee uh, tomato plant did not survive. So we'll pull these out and start again. But over there, I uh, didn't point out the last zucchini plant is also doing well. So we're doing well in that area. That's good news. Uh, this tomato plant is doing well. Still, oh, lizard. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Lizard, okay. Um, so they're doing okay, but like I said, no tomato production to really speak of. Peppers, we have gotten some peppers out of the, not any Tabascos yet. We're hoping that now that we have water, better nutritional based water, I mean, just basically just water. And we're gonna do some more fertilizing that hopefully those will come back. But right now, they're still looking green, which is good. Tomatoes over there seem to be kind of suffering as well. But like I said, we may have gotten the water irrigation to some of these plants just too late just too late but on a positive note we still do have habaneros coming in hobbies oh yes we got some hobbies lots of hobbies okay so i'm super excited about that the habaneros seem to be doing quite well as also the jalapeno peppers now we've harvested quite a few off of some of these so let's see if there's any more today. There might be some, oh, there's some over here that are red. Some red ones here. Red ones are just a little bit older than the green. This one actually has dried out, but, so that's just no good. I'll take that one off and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, it's just, it's just gone. But red ones normally just mean that they've been on the plant a little bit longer. They are still delicious. They're not any hotter, but uh, just a little, a little less, maybe a little less tender. Maybe that's what it is. I wonder what that pest is right there. Look at that. What are you doing? Who are you? Who sent you? Don't walk away from me. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that was some sort of bug. If you can identify that one, let me know. Should I be concerned? Or is it just a regular old bug bug? Yeah, they're still eating stuff. We all know that. But anyway, so the jalapenos are doing well. Hmm about the tomatoes uh, this spot i don't know what's going on here this is not doing well at all and i did run an irrigation line to it but it may have been too late as well this one needs to be staked so i have been remiss in getting some of these steaks so i've got to get back on the job so staking there looks like we did lose pepper plant here so hmm and these pepper plants seem to be doing well but i think i want to get more water down this row when I water, I notice this row is not quite as wet as some of the other ones. So I need to do that. This one over here needs to be staked better. I wish I would have brought my, my um, twine in with me because, well, that one looks like it might be broken off, but I might still be able to save it if I can get it propped back up. So got to get in here and stake some things up. My main focus this last couple of weeks has been just, just getting in the irrigation, getting water to all of these. So yeah. A lot of these are in pretty bad shape as far as staking, so I gotta do that. Maybe I'll just run another line of the string just for the whole row. Might be the better thing to do, like this one here with the string that you can kind of go up. These are all the various tomato plants along here. More tomato plants there. But like I said, no tomatoes. Lots of plants, but no tomatoes, so I don't know. Did you hear that? Starting to get stronger, that crow. My boy's growing up. My boy. Okay, anyway, let's look in here. I thought I saw a cantaloupe in here yesterday. Aha! Yes, I did. Look through here. Right in there. Look at that. Oh! Another one of those moments. Isn't that amazing? A cantaloupe. So the cantaloupe's doing well here. Climbing up this uh, trellis here. So it's doing quite well. And I have another one over here, right here, that I kind of propped up on a piece of wood so it wouldn't be in the water when the water gets kind of flowing. 
but there's a few more coming in. So the cantaloupe right here looked very promising. Yay! A win on the cantaloupe. More tomatoes still on the struggle bus, but we're still watering, keeping our fingers crossed. I think we need to do some more fertilizing, see if we can't get these guys pumped up. But as always, we have to end on a positive note. Do you see this? Do you remember how this looked before the irrigation? How this was just, this cantaloupe was really looking bad. And you can see that where it was right in there. That's how bad the leaves were. And look at them now. Isn't that incredible? Ah, more cantaloupe. Okay, so it looks like I do have a couple leaf miners going on right there. But I still say cantaloupe and of course, melon for the win. So. Right now, the melons are winning. Come on, tomatoes, I'm rooting for you. You can do this, I know you can. So we just need to get some more fertilizer on those now that we're getting the water situation taken con under control. But here's the whole garden. Sometimes I look at this and I go, wow, we've really done a lot. Our first year, I'm, I'm pretty happy with some of the successes that we've had. And we've had a lot of lessons learned. So definitely always beneficial. as the cicadas serenade us with their song and the girls and the guys making noise in the background i want to say thank you so much for stopping by today we have major changes coming along we're so excited aquaponic pebbles should be in tomorrow fingers crossed that we can get that going as soon as possible so stay tuned and as always be happy be well and be blessed until next time see you on the homestead bye bye